Okay, I'm going to go over how I theme uh, Bootstrap and uh, specifically Mezzanine, which is a Django um, application. And so what I've done is I've set up basically a default uh, Mezzanine install, which you can see right here. And you can see that it's using Bootstrap along with some additional CSS that is uh, provided an additional file that's with Mezzanine. So how can we go about keeping uh, a lot of the great things that come with Bootstrap, but also style it the way that we want? Maybe we want to even change completely the navigation, or or maybe we just want to do simple things and change the colors and, and things like that. So I'm going to show you how I do that quickly and easily. So the first thing that we're going to need is uh, you're going to need to download what's, co what's called Bootswatch, and it's a, it's a great uh, project that is going to enable us to very quickly uh, be able to change up uh, Bootstrap. So with that, what you'd want to do is click Fork, and then I'm just going to uh, clone this um, repository. So, okay, so that has cloned, and now what we need to do, so I've named my project uh, Bootstrap. This is the new uh, one that we want, and what I want out of here is this Swatch Maker file. So let's pull this over. And then your structure is important. I like to put my uh, themes or skins inside of an apps folder. It's basically an app in Django. So in apps, uh, again, pay attention. Make sure your new all your project your new applications include in the net.py. In this case, I've created the skin, and if I go into the static here, I'm gonna drag that swatch maker right to here, which I've already done. So um, here's swatch maker, and I'm ready to work with it. The reason this is important is the, just the way that it's put together. So um, let me go back one, give you a default. Okay, so going back one, I'm in the static. I'm going to actually remove this and just pull in this one. Okay. So this is, I now have SwatchMaker. And SwatchMaker contains Bootstrap. You can see it contains uh, Bootstrap there. And then I can basically update Bootstrap without um, making any other changes. In other words, I'm not changing Bootstrap itself. I'm going to be changing other files then compiling them with Bootstrap and it's all going to work. In this case we're using less and because that's what Bootstrap uses so y'all if you don't know it you're going to need to learn it. So let's... I'm on a Mac so I use this app from uh, called less app that was released. It's free. CodeKit is also awesome. I've tried it out and it's got some great features as well. So download this right here, and then install that. We're going to be using that. Okay, once you have that installed, let's open it up. And all we need to do is drag our file or folder in. So let's get to that folder that we want. Okay, so we're here, and we want this uh, swatchmaker.less is the core file. So we're going to be working with that. So we're just going to drop that in. It's going to find all the files that are also linked to it. And the two files that we're going to be editing to create a new theme, uh, generally you might have others that you'll edit later, but are boot swatch and variables. And so I actually don't want to have those compiled. It'll give you an error when it tries to compile it. Uh, say you save it, it'll try and compile it first. We want it to compile SwatchMaker and then everything else will go smoothly. So uh, just uncheck those. And then the other thing we want to do is change our output path. So I'm going to say select that. I, because I don't want it in the SwatchMaker folder, I want it in my static directory in my CSS folder. So I'm going to go CSS and I'm going to choose to compile it there. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that you can rename this if you don't want to be swatchmaker.css in your file. You can name this whatever you want, this less file, and then less will compile it to whatever this is named. So it won't uh, change anything. So you can change that up if you want to. 
Now let's just go to our code. Oh, I don't have it open. I can get rid of this folder because so I don't need it anymore. It's a my apps folder. Uh, one thing to be aware of is n don't ever name your skin or theme or whatever the same name as your project or you will have some issues. So go to the static. Again in Swatchmaker, the two that we're going to edit the most uh, is going to we're going to go into the swatch folder and we're going to edit bootstrap, boot swatch, and variables. Alright, so let's change those. So just to give you an idea how this is going to work, so let's go back to our home page. This is what we're at right now. And all we're going to do, let's just download one of these uh, cool themes. So we'll do this one. And I'm going to download the variables.less and the bootswatch.less. Then I'm going to open those. All right, so this is my new bootstrap. I'm just going to copy this over. And same thing with my variables. Oops, keep clicking it twice. And again, so I'm going to save this, and you'll notice. Uh, we didn't have any errors, but you notice immediately that uh, Les has compiled these again, and it made it, it triggered it. And so it just said this variables dot less triggered this. So do the same again. So if we set it up right, hopefully we did. Sure enough, we have a swatchmaker dot css. So now we need some templates. Obviously, it's not going to point at this new file unless we pull in our templates. So uh, again, this is a mezzanine specific thing, so if you're not using mezzanine or something similar than uh, like a Django project, then you can disregard this. To get those files, we are just going to go into our virtual environment, uh, get our Python path here. So I'm printing the sys path. I just want to find where my folders are. Okay. It's going to be here. Oops. So I'm going to switch to that directory. I'm going to go into mezzanine. And these are going to be where my where my templates are. So I'm just going to pull in the ones I want. So in the core and templates, I'm going to pull back this base because I know that's going to be a big one. And then index.html. So I'm going to pull both of those back over. Okay, so all I did was I copied those over. And uh, if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to change some of the blog templates or something like that, I would just copy it over and then I would have the blog templates to work with. So basically be able to override them. Uh, I would only override the things that you are going to change because then as Mezzanine's updated, it will, uh, you will be overriding the new changes so just be aware of that that you'll need to merge those uh, later perhaps if there's um, changes that affect the templates alright so let's go back and link up our base template with our new I'm 
save that. And we should. Oh, one thing I'm forgetting here. So, one thing in order to add this skin, I need to add the app. And in order to do that, we need to add it to our settings, installed apps, put it at the top so it's seen first. In this case, skin. And let's see our changes. Oh, I messed something up. Oh, okay. I need to add the apps folder to my path. So let's do that. Let's see. Project path. We're just going to. We're just going to append it onto here. Give me a second. Okay. So this is just one way that we can. Uh, doesn't like that. All right. One way that we can append the apps folder to our to our path and looks like we're up and rolling and now we should see a new theme. And there we have it. So it's basically so that's that's the fastest way to um, be able to skin with bootstrap and mezzanine that I know of anyway.